Hi everyone, welcome to Mansions and More. So glad to have you all on my channel. My name is Anne and today we are in Kiambu County and from where I stand I have Sigona to my left, Limuru to my right and my backdrop is Tigoni and that makes for Tilisi. Tigoni, Limuru and Sigona. So you're in a very expansive development called Tilisi Views and we have 28 units on phase one. We have three, four, and five bedroom houses, all sitting on different plot sizes, which include quarter acre, an eighth acre, and a half an acre. And the current uh, house that you want to view is this villa right behind me. The specs of this house include three bedrooms, two bathrooms, one half bath, sitting on approximately an eighth of an acre piece of land, its own detached servants' quarters, and the cost of this unit is from 23.5 million kenya shillings so i'll leave more information about this property down in the description below make sure to check it out and before we continue i'd like to thank the marketing team and the sales team of tilisi views for letting us view this beautiful home this is one of four houses that we're going to view we're going to make it into a four-part series and i hope you catch all the episodes just to show you the different designs that they have on this property all right let's start the tour From your street level, you have your cabro paved uh, driveway, parking for two cars, and the outward look of the house is really nice. You have your fiberboard cladding, you have your stone cladding uh, blending in nicely together, and you have your textured paint with your earth tone colors. To my left is your detached servants' quarters. You have a gate that leads you to your laundry area. To my right, you have a gate access to your garden and you have this chain link fence going around your compound. Uh, you have this gate that is over here. You can use it for storage or if you need maybe to put your trash can outside. You have your minimalistic landscaping, which is very easy to maintain. And as you come this way, you have your sheltered entrance. It's a bit cold today, guys. I know you can see the coat because we are in Limuru, which is famously known as a tea producing and processing area. So this place can get really cold, but if you don't like hot weather, this is just perfect for you. So let's go into the house so that I can show you what the house comes with. Coming into this space, let's just close this door. This is a very heavy door. I was just mentioning it to my DOP. It's a very solid and uh, heavy door. You have your steel frames and the wood cladding all around it. You have your kitchen to my left. Uh, in front of me, you have your sunken lounge area. And to my right is the guest bathroom so let's just uh, go in and uh, view this first you have your open shelving to put your toiletries if you like you have your mirror detail your sink area and your toilet and I just like how the tiles are the floor tiles are running through even to the walls in this uh, bathroom it looks really nice it looks really really nice so the second place you want to see is now the kitchen. You have this uh, fixture here. It's not uh, fi uh, permanently, permanently fixed. You can move it around if you want. You have your fully fitted kitchen. It's an open plan kitchen. It looks really nice with the gray tones all around. You have this breakfast bar, which looks nice and, you know, just uh, separate from the rest of the kitchen. You have this pendant light lighting up your breakfast bar so you can uh, put seats on this side and have your meals here. You have your quartz countertops and coming this way you have your hob and five banners and an extractor that is clad in wood. You have beautiful lower cabinets with the light grey tones that are very spacious and they have the soft close feature. You have your Bosch uh, microwave, Bosch oven, you have your wine rack uh, on top uh, as storage. You can use it for any kind of storage. You have also this open shelving up here. You have space for your fridge. And this door opens up to your laundry area and your DSQ area. So this side, your countertop continues with also a gray backsplash just blending in very nicely. You have your casement windows. This uh, windows bring in light to your kitchen area. You have your sink area and you also have your upper storage with a see-through glass so that you can see whatever you want without uh, necessarily opening up. And you have provision for a dishwasher and an under sink heater. And all switches have been placed there strategically for you to see what works with what. 
coming off of your kitchen area you go into your dining area so it's just an open space that you can play around with you have this wood fill tiles you know just bringing in warmth to the space i just like how it's not just a white wall with the white tiles and these uh, tiles continue as a backsplash throughout your kitchen and up to where you have space for your fridge it looks really nice really seamless so that's it about the dining area. We are going straight into your lounge area. It's a sunken lounge. So coming down the steps, you have your high ceiling and have windows running through the ceiling, just bringing in a ton of light. And as you come down your lounge area, you have your laminate floors, just you know, bringing in warmth to this space. You have big windows uh, bringing in a ton of natural light. Your doors opening up to your garden area. And you have this area where you have your functional fireplace. You have sockets under here and you have your wooden mantle also looking nice. And that's it about this area. Let's go back up and see the bedrooms. So coming up the steps, same kind of flooring and on this intermediate landing you have these laminates running on your risers and your tread just on the edge just you know breaking off from uh, the rest of the staircase and looking nice you have your big windows bringing in a lot of natural light and as you come up you have your steel and wooden railing and on your landing you have your laminate floors and from here you can enjoy the views of your garden area which looks very very beautiful so from here you have your master bedroom to my left and your two additional bedrooms uh, to my right and this is a guest cloakroom or a shared bathroom for this bedroom so let's go into the first uh, bedroom so this bedroom is a uh, back facing meaning it faces your garden it's a spacious uh, room i love these big windows bringing in light to this space and just making this place look uh, very bright and beautiful and there's a lot of fresh air coming into the room you have your cabinet spaces and your open shelving uh, to my right let me just open one up looks really nice so coming out of this room we go straight into this shared bathroom uh, you have your toilet to my right you have your shower cubicle and i really like uh, this tile detail uh, I was told it's called Jura Beige uh, tiles, uh, just breaking off from the rest of the tiles, which are, are the same in the whole bathroom. And you have your shower head and your chrome fixtures. You have your vanity area and your mirror. And uh, you have a rack for your towels and big storage uh, for whatever you may need uh, underneath your sink. So coming out of this bathroom, we go to this other bedroom which is front facing and if you can remember the slanted detail of the walls where you have your uh, from the exterior you have your slanted wall this uh, room is the one that gets the slanted wall which adds a new dimension to this space you have your big windows bringing in a ton of natural light and your cabinet spaces and your open shelving to your left so that's it about this bedroom let's go out and straight into the master bedroom i know you can hear my shoes i'm actually wearing shoe covers because you know uh, house rules and this place is super clean so we didn't want to make it dirty so coming into this space to my left is your shower area you have your bathtub and your vanity to my left so this is all storage you have uh, closed uh, shelvings here and you have your open shelving you have your toilet area and you have your shower cubicle so this one also comes with the Jura Beige tiles and you have your frosted windows and I like the small window there that brings in even more natural light to this space and that's it about the bathroom. So coming out of this bathroom, now you have uh, your bedroom, your space for your bed. To my right is your cabinet spaces and you have this frosted window to my right. So this is the uh, window to your bathroom. And this is very functional because the light coming into this bath, uh, the light coming in to this bedroom also now lights up your bathroom area. So if it was just a closed wall, uh, the bathroom would have been very dark. So I like this detail a lot, and I think you'll see it in uh, all the master bedrooms that you're going to tour. 
And, and from this angle in front of me is Tigoni. You can see Tigoni from here. It's a very beautiful landscape to just wake up to. We're looking really nice. Uh, you have your picture window on this side and your casement windows here. This one's open up for fresh air and you can also view your garden. So let's go down and see the garden area being us. Going to see the DSQ and your laundry area. We are back outside uh, the front of the house. This is the gate that leads to your sheltered laundry area. So in case it rains or, you know, it is bad weather, you can always do your laundry under this uh, sheltered roof. You can do your dishes. You have uh, areas to put your washers and dryers. And this area, you can put a gas cylinder and lock it up. Yes, and that's it about this area. It looks really nice, really functional. You have a lot of space to play around with. If you wanted to put your dustbin here, your uh, anything that, you know, some fast things that you need, like tools and stuff. But for tools, you also have this room over here with your steel door. So this steel door opens up to this garden storage area and you have a boiler for your DSQ bathroom. So this house has come with the solar heating system. This boiler that you see here is just for the DSQ. So now let's go into this bathroom which is an exterior bathroom that you can access from outside the house. Yeah, everything you'd need, you have your shower area, you have your, your toilet and your sink area. And coming out of this room you go into your detached servants quarters so we are done with this area and we are heading out and i'm so happy that the sun is out it's now a little bit warmer so we are going to the garden to just check out how the garden looks like This is your garden area, your backyard, and you, you can see it's very spacious. You can hold your functions here, uh, especially if your hedge grows uh, big and tall, you'll have your own private space. And uh, this is phase one, so phase two houses are going to be even bigger and better. We're going to have three bedrooms, all in suite of uh, the, same, the same design. So uh, if you're interested, kindly check out the description to see how you can purchase this property. So we've come to the end of this uh, uh, tour for this specific house. It's a four part series. So we are going to the second house to show you another design on this property. So stick around and catch me on the next video.